Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Idris Elba. Idris Elba has been fan cast as the next James Bond for years, and whether he would accept the role has been a matter of speculation for just as long. In a recent interview, the veteran actor settled the question once and for all. According to Elba, he was super complimented by the idea, and he also described being cast as James Bond as reaching the pinnacle of one's career as an actor. However, Idris Elba no longer has any interest in the role, and he blames the fans for that. Here's what he had to say. But, yeah. but being, you know, asked to be James Bond was like, okay, you know, you sort of reached the pinnacle, you know, that's kind of one of these things that the whole world sort of has a vote in. And, right. and you know, essentially it was a, a huge sort of compliment that every corner of the world, except for some corners, which we will not talk about. We're really yeah. happy about the idea. The, right. Those that weren't happy about the idea made the whole thing disgusting and off-putting, you know, because it became right. about race mm -hmm. and it became right. about just oh, oh, nonsense, oh, oh, oh. dude. And I got the brunt of it. Interestingly, this is the same actor who declared he no longer wanted to be described as a black actor and said how your work shouldn't be defined by your race. But the reality is this. As he has seen, race, or at the very least one's physical appearance, does matter when portraying existing characters. You can be one of the top actors in the world, overqualified for the role, and still face criticism because you're simply not suited for it aesthetically. And your casting is not only wrong, it's likely not even about you, but about the messaging the studios are trying to convey by hiring you. Unfortunately, Elba is choosing to blame the fans, and he's doing so by calling critics of such casting racist. Instead of realizing that by accepting these roles, you're basically allowing the industry to weaponize you against the larger fan base and to prop you up as a shield against criticism for literally everything else that's almost always wrong with the project. The industry can say what it will about diversity, inclusion, and representation, but they don't really care about any of it. If they did, then they wouldn't engage in race swapping. They say, for example, they want a more accurate representation of society's racial makeup on screen, but they don't seem to accept that not every time and place of every story is conducive to that, and it needn't be. Rather than place a black person in Scandinavia during the Viking Age, for example, you could create an entire series set in West Africa during that very same time period. Even focus on a similar people with a similar way of life. They say they want to break stereotypes associated with ethnicity and showcase the range and versatility of non-white actors, but then they do the exact opposite. Case in point, making the new Captain America black while having him face racial discrimination and police brutality on a planet he literally helped save. It would be far more effective to simply write better quality stories and choose, choose not to continue to rely on stereotypes and racial tropes and trauma porn for conflict that's only going to come across as contrived. And if these studios really cared at all about challenging traditional casting practices, then they would be more willing to invest money in the development of new characters or the promotion of existing ones. And unfortunately, too many actors allow themselves to be used by their creatively bankrupt peers to virtue signal so-called diversity while simultaneously casting them, even the best of them, in the worst roles or roles that were originally white characters that are often washed up hand-me-down by this point or their remakes or reimaginings and reboots that really shouldn't be made in the first place. Nevertheless, it is good to see that one more of them is finally starting to see the light, even if I disagree with his logic. I'm in no position to give Idris Elba advice, but if I could, it would be for him to simply retire, which is something he's discussed before. Go and find some other passion, or if you must remain in the industry, then found a studio of your own. Get the projects made that Hollywood never will. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.